Hey everyone, Darren Larkman here, the Pure Health Coach. Really excited because right over my shoulder there is my brand new Vitamix blender. I'm really excited because I've been without a blender for a, a long time now and because I use it three times a day for making all my smoothies and my sauces and all sorts of recipes, I've really missed it. So the first thing I'm going to make with this blender is hummus using just chickpeas. But what I really want to go through today is how we can actually use the juice that's left over from our chickpeas. This is called aquaflava or something like that. A lot of people throw this out, but it actually has a lot of uses. This acts just like egg whites, and you can beat it up and make meringues out of it, but I've actually heard of a great recipe to make mayonnaise. So that's what I'm gonna be trying out right now. Now I'm not taking credit for this uh, recipe. This goes out to Tracy Sharman on Facebook who developed this and posted it and I've been itching to give it a try because one, I love mayonnaise and if we can find a better alternative than the store-bought stuff that's heavily processed, then all the better. So let's have a look and see how this is made. Now apparently the most important thing about this recipe is layering the ingredients. So we start off with a teaspoon of mustard this is Dijon mustard, which is cool because I love Dijon. One tablespoon of lemon juice. A pinch of salt. Four tablespoons of our chickpea juice. And 250 mils of oil. This is olive oil. Now we use our stick blender and whacking it on high. Wow, look at that! That is amazing! Did you see how quick that was and how amazing it looked? Here's our jar of mayonnaise. Let's see how it tastes. That's incredible. That is mayonnaise. That's egg-free, dairy-free, processed-free mayonnaise. Has it got a lot of oil in it? I'd probably use a different type of oil, one that's like you, you like tasting, and maybe a different type of mustard. Uh, this one's a little bit tart, but as far as the texture, taste and everything goes, it's spot on for mayonnaise. And you can see how quickly and easy it was for me to make it. Why don't you give this a go yourself and basic ingredients, you've got mayonnaise on hand. I'm putting this on a salad that I'm making tonight for dinner. Till then, see you later.